how do you reconcile meditation and the inherent slowing down that it encompasses uh -huh. when you're dealing with high-performing individuals that thrive on intensity? So I think one of the things I found, so in the environment where you say hi, there is that mindset of, you know, either you're a high performer or you're someone as if meditation might slow you down. But the reality is, is with these high performers, it's fascinating. And, and research has actually shown this. And I've been in these environments, the MBA, you know, the MBA environment, the, con the Wall Street environment. So much of it is run off of fear. The culture is run off of fear. It's like they're so terrified of failing. Uh, and I put myself in that category too, especially when I'm in that environment. I mean, anything that goes wrong, it's this environment of perfection and you have to do things right and perfect. And you really look down on people that don't do things necessarily well. Um, and I've been in those environments. And you know, what a fantastic example is, you know, somebody that I was just recently talking to, she was rejected from Stanford. And she had this like complete sense of failure and got into several other MBA programs, fantastic, you know, top programs. And she was just like, I don't get rejected from schools. And it was just that sense. And so she was so focused on this failure, um, you know, for, in her mindset. And it's that kind of attitude that's ludicrous. I mean, so people look at that and are like, oh, please, I can't feel sorry for you. But that's how they operate. Like in general, it's, they, you know, 10 wonderful things happen to you in that one little thing. And you're so focused on that failure. So my attitude towards that is you will, you can still be above average and these are, you know, type A people, so they will do well, they will perform well, but they will never be exceptional with that kind of mindset. They will be, they will stand above other people, but they're not going to blow away the world because the reality is, is they're still operating under that extreme fear. And when things get really difficult and really challenging and something takes out their, their confidence, they will fall. Um, so you need people that have a mindset of that they actually can accomplish huge things. And if every if the motivation is all around fear and fear fear of failure, you're not going to get very far. And and I talk about that because they have done so much research on the top MBA programs, and they find that you know one of the ten things that bring down some of the best people is their fear of failure.